jazz studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to yet another jazz studio tutorial. Now, today I want to talk about something pretty cool. It's called Deformer, and it's going to be a way that you can morph and change various props or characters within your scene. And so what I want to do today is I want to show you both. We're going to morph a character and I'll give you a few examples of this. And then second, we're going to morph a prop, a simple box that we can put into our scene. And then finally, we're going to set up a whole scene so that you can see how we could apply this to one of your renders. Okay, so Deformer is a lot like Deforce in a way. It's going to change your character or your prop by changing its geometry. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do a simple example of Deformer with our character Milica. So I've got Milica here, my standard girl. She's ready to help us out today. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can change uh, her body type. And so we're going to create a morph and then we'll apply it save it and what's really cool is I'll show you how you can save your morphs so you can use them with any Genesis 8 female character. So the first thing I'm gonna do just to make this easy because I've kinda got her in a pose when I put her in the scene I'm gonna pose her a little bit differently but just so that we don't mess with our original character I'm gonna take Milica and let's just duplicate her. So I'm going to make a carbon copy of Milica and I'm going to select this copy and we're going to move our copy over. Now you don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this to preserve my original character. She is my avatar after all and I don't really want to don't really want her to be changed so we're cloning her. All right, then I'm gonna go into my characters and I'm going to go to my Genesis 8 starter essentials. And if I scroll down to where we can add a new Genesis 8 character, you're gonna see that there is a base pose. Now for this, I, I need her in the base pose. I don't want my character in any pose because that could mess with my morph. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a deformer and I'm just going to show you a simple deformer that will change her waist. So I'm going to zoom in to my character and we are going to create a morph so that we can shrink her waist. We're going to kind of turn her into a Barbie doll. It's going to, she's going to look like a Barbie doll a little bit. She's going to have a narrower waist. Maybe we want to make a unique character and we want to change her waist. So with our Milica number two, our clone selected, I'm going to go up here to create and I'm going to go down to where it says create a new deformer going to select that and then I can name this if I want I don't really care about naming it at this point so I'm just going to hit OK and then under our Milica number two character in the parameters tab you're going to see that there is a uh, new tab that says deformer one base and then you've got this little icon that looks like a globe that says a deformer one field now, what we have here is really three things. If I expand my tab, we're going to under um, the Deforce, uh, I'm sorry, Deformer 1 base, we're going to have this little um, 
well, it kind of looks like a top character that's called the Deformer 1. I'm going to show this to you uh, by just selecting it, and we're going to move it forward. So if you, if you look at this, you've got this little top. That is the Deformer 1, and... Uh, we can move it and if you notice see if I if I click on it and move the top it's moving my character and then the base is this little disc dealy guy and I can move it as well then we have the field and when you click on the field you'll notice that my character it looks like she has measles. She's got all these red dots, yellow dots, just like we had with D-Force and things like the Mesh Smoother. You're going to have different colors representing how much something's going to move. So the more red it is, the more it's gonna move. The more yellow it is, the less it's going to move. What I want to do is I want to create this deformer on her waist. I don't want it really anywhere else. So I'm going to take this field and I'm going to shrink it. So when I have the field selected, I can take my scale and I can start scaling down the deformer field. And if you notice, it's changing where those little measles spots are. And so I can bring it down. I can also use my coordinate system to raise it up. And if you notice, see I've got where her chest is is more yellow, where her abdomen is is more red. So I'm gonna keep shrinking this down until it's just over her abdomen. Now, the deformer base, we can also move around. So if I bring it out for uh, away from the character, or if I bring it towards the middle, which is where I want it, I kind of want it where it was defaulted, so I'm just gonna drop it down. But when I select this little top, deformer. Now the field is narrowed down to where I want to morph and when I select that little top, the deformer one, now if I hit scale I'm going to change the morph of this character. So see I, I can take her from her normal hips and I can shrink that down. So now you can see I have just morphed that character. Now, if I like that, we're gonna select our character, then I'm gonna come up to Window, go to Panes, and then I'm gonna come down to Deform. Select that, and then I'm going to hit Spawn Morph. When I hit Spawn Morph, it's going to ask me for a name. So I'm going to type in, uh, let's just type in Waste Test Morph. Hit OK. And with my character selected, if I scroll down in the Parameters tab, I'm going to see this Morph tab. If I click on the Morph tab, you're going to see that I have this Waste Test Morph now in my morphs. This is a little bit weird, but if I go to Parameters, go to Parameter Setting under my Morph, um, I have a couple choices here. You can leave it alone and just play with the Morph without any limits, or you can select Limits and then change the limits to what you want. This is a little bit tricky, honestly. 
And so I've had to play with this a little bit. So we're gonna keep our minimum at negative 100, and we're gonna make our max 100. And I think that's what actually is going to fix our parameter. So if I have this weight test morph set at negative 100, then she's normal, and the more that I move my dial, the more drastic her hips change. Okay, so now we have a morph. If we really like this and we want to apply it to a different character, because right now this morph will only work for the character that I created it for. So if I want to move this morph to my original girl, I'm going to have to save it. And to save it, I'm just going to come up to File, go to Save As, come all the way down to Support Asset, scroll over to where it says Morph Assets. Now once I have my Morph Asset, I need to decide where I want to save this morph. Now a lot of times you're going to save it to your C drive. So like, I have a whole bunch of different external DAS library drives. You might want to just save it to your C drive. If you only have one, that's where you'll save it to. And then under vendor name, you're going to create your vendor name. So my vendor name is not from this world. And then you're going to name the product. So I'm going to name this product uh, exactly what I have in the tabs. I'm going to call it Waste Test Morph. Now, once I have it named, I have to find it under this property menu. So we know that our waste test morph morph is in our Milica 2 character. So I'm going to select her and then I'm going to drop down to morphs because that's where it's at. See, it's in morphs right here. So I'm just going to hit morphs and then I have quite a few morphs, but this is it right here. So I've created a lot of morphs, I just have to find the correct one. You can see I, I was playing around before I started recording and I made a different um, morph that I named waste test number one. But the one that we just created together is waste test morph. Once I have that selected, I'm just going to hit accept. Now if I, just for fun, create a new Genesis 8 character. So I'm just in my starter essentials and I'm going to create a new character here. So here she is, Genesis 8 basic female. Let's create a new character and I'm going to slide her over. I had to add some clothes to her to keep Daz happy, but now that I have this new character, when I click on her, I can go to morphs and you can see my waste test morph is right here. So now, um, I don't know why this happens, but my parameters are kind of messed up, so I have to go into parameters. You may or may not have to do this, and we need to um, change this. So I'm going to make my minimum zero now, and my maximum a hundred. And now in my waste test morph, I can change this to its appropriate values. Another thing that's kind of interesting is I have my original Milica character. If I select her, I am not going to see that morph because I need to reload her. So if you have a character open, you're going to have to reload her in order for Daz to recognize this new morph and add it to her. So at the moment, she just won't have that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to set up a sci-fi scene. So we need to make a morph. And I have always enjoyed these uh, alien movies. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a character that has been infected by the alien hugger creature and it will be attached to her and so what we're going to do is we're going to create a morph 
on our character similar to what we just did with the waist. But we're going to make this in her throat because the alien's going to be attacking her. So uh, let's set this up. I'm going to get rid of our superfluous character here because we don't need her. So let's delete her. We're going to go back to our Milica 2 character. And what we're going to do is we're going to create another deformer and we're going to put it into her throat. Now we can come in and make a new deformer for her throat. So I'm going to select Milica number two, our clone. We're going to go create new deformer. It's going to give us the deformer and this is where we could name it throat if we wanted to. That just makes it easier for us to remember. I'm going to select the field which gives me all of these red dots and now I'm going to shrink it and focus my red onto her throat. It looks like I have it just on her throat. You can see there's some yellow up by her chin and then the red on her throat. Now I'm going to take this deformer, I'm going to select it, and now I can start playing around with the morph that I want. All right, see I can make this bulge. And we want to make it kind of realistic. Okay, so I have this throat bulge now. So you can do this with any part of her body. Just move that deforce field wherever you want the morph. I can save the morph. Remember to save the morph. I've got to select my character. And I'm going to go up to Window, Pane, drop down to Deform. Hit Spawn Morph. We're going to name this. I'm going to name it... Um, Hugger Bulge. And when I hit OK, now in my Morph tab of the parameters, I'm going to have this morph. Remember, this is only saved right now in this character. So I don't have it saved so that it can be used by any Genesis 8 female. So in order to do that, I have to go to File, Save As, drop down to Support Asset, go to Morph Assets. I'm going to select what directory I want it in, and then I can click on that, go to my vendor name, not from this world, and then I can name my product Hugger Bulge. And then I have to use my Milica 2 character, drop down her menu, find morphs, and then select Hugger Bulge. Hit accept. One other thing I want to show you is how we can use this in a prop. So you've got to look and check out your props to make sure that it's going to work because deformer won't work with some props that have a very low geometry and we can remember check our geometry by going up here and hitting a wireframe i like the lit wireframe and you can see that um, i have these two boxes and they have very different geometries the less geometry you have the harder it is to use deformer. So that's why I created this um, box from a primitive is because I knew that it would have a lot of geometry. We can morph this too if I click on it. Now that I showed you our original box, I'm going to just delete it. Let's focus in on the box I created because we're gonna make a cool little prop here with this box that's gonna go into our scene. I'm gonna create a new deformer for it, and I'm gonna scroll down to this deformer. So you can see it still has 
the same kind of features. It has red and yellow. And if I go to my field, I can raise this up, move it around so that I get different deformer morphs in different areas of the box. Put it on this corner, and then I'm gonna hit my little top tab here, and this is where I can have fun and create the morphs. See, I can bulge it up, bulge it down. Now this is what's gonna be cool. See, I'm gonna raise this up, and I'm going to go, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna create this box so that it looks like the top's being pushed open. After I created the morph, I just used my geometry editor to put a hole in my box. And now we are ready to set up our scene. Okay, so I have some elements of a scene ready to go. We're gonna make a sci-fi scene here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna select my Milica character. And I've got a nice suit for her that we're gonna put her in. I'm gonna get rid of her bikini. So I've got a suit for her that I added. And then we've got a room. And I've got a second female character that's going to be infected. So we're going to load her up. Now what's cool is this is a Genesis 8 female character. If I click on her, I'm going to have that morph that I created. And here's my hugger bulge right here. So if I zoom in, all right, see my hugger bulge morph is working. All right, now I just so happen to have a hugger, so I'm gonna add it into my scene. And we're going to put it in place. Okay, so it took a few minutes to pose my hugger character, but I've got her. Now I'm gonna kind of pose Milica because Milica is investigating whatever's going on here. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna take a moment to pose our box. We created it. I will give you a uh, geometry editor tutorial here sometime in the future where I'll explain how I created the hole in the box. Okay, and then just for kicks here, let's uh, clone our hugger. And then we'll take this second hugger, put him in the box. Alrighty, I have it set up. This is a pretty interesting sci-fi scene, so let's render. Okay, so here's our finished render. A little bit different than what I have been posting in my other tutorials, but this is pretty cool. I love sci-fi, so this works really well. All right, I want to thank you for watching this crash course in Deformer. You get to play around with this, make some cool uh, morphs for your characters and props, and enhance those renders. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please comment. I want to hear what you have to say. And until next time, have a wonderful day.